Hello everyone. Today I will start the third session of this IoT course. Last session I have discussed what is Cisco Packet Tracer, key features of Cisco Packet Tracer, usefulness of simulation based learning and simulation with Cisco Packet Tracer. Today I will demonstrate how to implement IoT application in Cisco Packet Tracer. Guys, you can see the Cisco Packet Tracer workspace window right so there are different components are available in cisco packet tracer to simulate different kind of a network or iot applications you can see guys at bottom there are uh, different components available just follow my mouse cursor so this is this is the component the first one is the different types of routers right you can drag and drop uh, this thing this is the kind of different kind of routers are available, wireless router and, the, and different routers. Then if you click on the second one, this is end devices. So in this devices, uh, you can see here, guys, PC, laptop, smartphones, all these things are available, right? Right? So you can drag and drop anything like uh, you can drag. one server also right then you can drag as per your requirement right this is a smartphone we need this to implement a iot application okay guys there are many components you can see uh, right so now uh, then you can see uh, this is the uh, home symbol right so that means to implement home automation or smart home, you can use this like uh, small fan, then you have AC, guys, then we have uh, tap, then you have door, all our smart devices, smart window, webcam, right, like this. We will be using it uh, to implement a home automation. Okay, guys. Then you can see a, uh, another symbol that is uh, smart city. Here also we have this is the wind detector. Right. We have fan also. We can have car. Right. So this is the street light. Right, so there are different different uh, components are available for smart city. Right, you can implement a uh, smart city by using all these components. Right, next we have industrial automation. Right, you can implement this thing. Here we have uh, wind turbine. Right, similar things are uh, wind. Uh, Editor also available over here. So you see almost all the components are available. So you can implement uh, any industrial automation by using these components. Next we have a smart grid where we have uh, this wind turbine also blower, right? So there are many other components, sensors and all. Okay, so these are the some uh, components that are available for a uh, smart grid. So now we can see, click on that. So uh, once again, we will get uh, all these end devices. Now, so we can also use. Uh, MCU that is microcontroller board like Arduino node MCU over here. So this is the microcontroller board you can see guys. You can implement. Uh, this is the sensor components. All the sensors are available over here. I can show you one sensor that is motion uh, sensor. We will be using it for implementing a project. Then you have different alarm systems. This is the one alarm system. Right. 
so you can see all the components are available okay so this is a more or less uh, the component uh, details right you can experiment on this so now i'll delete all these components one after another delete all the components right guys I told you that uh, you can uh, implement different networking projects or you can test different routing algorithms right and you can implement LAN, WAN, whatever you want in Cisco Packet Tracer not only for IoT so okay guys just a minute I'll delete this thing this is called uh, workspace now I will demonstrate first project that is blinking LED by using microcontroller unit and alarm system or you can say this is uh, this alarm system behaving as LED, simple LED okay so now click on uh, MCU and go to programming you can see uh, a file that is ms.js so you can write code either in the python or in uh, javascript so i'll use javascript for implementing projects so you can also use python no issues this is the editor available over here you can see guys you can also create a new file right and then uh, you have uh, delete options open option rename option import options or also you can copy then uh, paste and all these things like as editor so now this is the uh, blinking LED code already available but before executing this code you have to connect this MCU and this alarm system which is a LED LED so this is the wire are available you can see guys just click on IoT wire and connect with D0 pin of this MCU and the D0 pin of alarm system okay so that's it so now once again you go to this code and you can also execute uh, this code no issue okay so if you click this thing just a minute uh, if you click this thing that is uh, run button you can say this is showing blinking but there is the but this alarm system is not blinking right or LED is not blinking right so why because so the pin mode the pin which is written over here that is pin number one but you must have seen that when I have selected the pin of MC board that is zero pin the D zero pin right so that is why uh, it's not getting signal that alarm system is not getting any signal the high signal from or the low signal from uh, the MC board that is why you have to change it guys you have to change it make it zero right it should be output pin should be zero guys and it should be zero it should be zero so now this will work right so now if first you stop the process the previous one and click on run let's see this one guys the LED is blinking or you can say alarm system is blinking so that means now it is perfect this is the uh, simple project blinking LED so as you know that uh, whenever you implement any uh, code in any microcontroller board there must be some ID for Arduino and NodeMCO we are using Arduino ID so in this ID, there are two default functions are available. One is called uh, setup, and another is called the loop. So in setup function, we are actually uh, using pin mode function to initialize different input output ports and the baud rate. Okay, or you can initialize whatever you want. 
in setup function and uh, in the loop functions we are actually writing the actual code which is basically the operational code okay so uh, now uh, so this is the uh, simple project already i have uh, executed it okay so now i'll stop the process and uh, come to the next project that is iot based motion detection by using motion detector sensor mcu and alarm system okay guys so now uh, stop the process we'll remove this one is okay so now i'll implement this project that is motion detection by using mo motion detection sensor or uh, motion sensor mc board and alarm system okay so now once again go to this go to this system and take this one and first we connect by using where you can see the where symbol over here iot where now we connect please remember this pin number d0 pin and this is the d0 pin that is this is the input pin for mcu right please remember this thing all right so this is the d1 pin so this is the output pin okay nice okay so the input pin for mcu is d0 and output pin for is basically the one so the actually the the working uh, uh, model of this particular project is that uh, the sensor will detect some motion immediately send a signal to mc board and mc board will send a signal the high signal to alarm system by which it is showing uh, some signal or glowing some light or ringing and whatever right so that is the basic uh, working flow. But in this uh, particular uh, simulations, uh, as per the sensor specifications, uh, whenever uh, this sensor detects uh, any uh, kind of motion, it will uh, send 1023 to this particular uh, MC. Okay. So now click on that. Go to programming. Already it is written. Right. It's already it is written. Already we did the uh, linking ready program and now you have to change this one or you can write a new file okay so now i'm uh, just uh, modifying this file because uh, my uh, port number one is the output port so now just i'll copy paste it this is the So I'll write port number zero as input port. As we have seen, port number zero is the input port and port number one is the output port. So no need this serial dot print over here. When I need it over here, so I'll just copy paste this function. So now uh, to detect motion, there must be a function which reads the motion value, the detection value from the motion sensor. Okay, that is a where uh, I'll motion equals to. Okay, then digital read nice for reading this. Uh, value from the sensor why i'm writing zero because zero is the input port okay zero is the input port right okay so you can now uh, print the value of motion no issue rather just change this print print the motion value and just write if already I told you that uh, motion detected means the digital read function will read 1023 motion equals to equals to 1023 this is the sensor specification 
if motion equal to equal to 1023 then digital write 1 because 1 is the output port it's high please remove the delay from here then you write else because if and change the output port as 1 and remove the delay function right okay now i'll execute this code please wait okay i can also save it in different name also no issue but so but in this case i am not saving it in a different file just i'm executing the same file once again just i've changed the code okay now you can uh, run the code okay this running you can see the because there is no motion that's why the value is zero guys now you press alt and move your cursor above the sensor just as soon as uh, the sensor detects any signal right so just see this one it will print the value 1023 and when i the i move the cursor right so it comes to zero okay so i'll repeat once the mount the process okay just see 1023 you can see guys from the editor or serial monitor whatever you can say so that is the thing okay this is the uh, project so already i told you that uh, whenever you write any uh, code for any microcontroller like arduino uh, like a node mcu so we are using some id uh, in case of uh, node mcu and arduino we are using uh, arduino id so where we have two default function already told you one is the setup another is called the loop so similar way so we have this same functions over here also so we have to change the code or you can create a new file for that okay that is the way we can write the code in this simulator that is the cisco packet tracer to program or to control any microcontroller okay so now after that what you can do just cross this window and you have to save the file okay just go to file and save as so write a the project name is the motion plus motion underscore detection detection right so the default file extension you can say so that is pkt over here this is packet tracer file whenever you write write any name over here this file name part so it will save as motion detection dot pkt okay just you save it and you can also select that where you want to save it whether you want to save it in desktop or in a download folder or document whatever so accordingly you can share it also to your friend just save it okay so that is uh, all about and uh, you can also open it from here you want to open it so this is the file okay this is the detection file you can also click on that and you can open it already it is opened okay so that is a more or less uh, idea about how to uh, uh, i mean implement a simple project or iot based project in cisco packet tracer okay so next uh, lecture uh, i will demonstrate that how to implement actual iot project that is uh, like home automation or smart city okay so thank you very much.